A few years ago, the first 4K TVs hit the market. They were rather pricey back in 2013 when all this happened and there was little incentive to get one, especially if you were a gamer. After all, what good is 4K resolution if your hardware can't keep up? But it wasn't long before prices started dropping and 4K TVs drew closer to the mainstream consumer. And this meant a great change in the gaming world was going to follow. A big resolution jump was imminent. And when we say big, we mean big. Four times as big to be exact. That's why it's called 4K. It has roughly four times the amount of pixels on the display. It also goes by Ultra HD and 2160p. It wasn't long before Sony and Microsoft created the 4K ready versions of their consoles, the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X. But what if you're a PC gamer? You've probably entertained the idea of getting a 4K monitor at one point or another. But is it worth it? Well, now is as good a time as any, given that we finally have decently priced high quality 4K monitors. But let's still take a look at the various advantages and disadvantages that were bound to come with such an impressive piece of technology. If we're considering the advantages, then having a bigger screen is probably the first thing that pops to mind. 24-inch monitors are the sweet spot for Full HD monitors when it comes to size. Anything bigger and you're bound to start noticing individual pixels, which is especially bad for PC gaming because you're usually very close to the monitor. Plus, the aliasing would become unbearable. But 4K monitors can produce extremely sharp images on much bigger screens without individual pixels ever becoming noticeable. The sweet spot for these monitor sits at around 27 inches. And this isn't because the picture would be pixelated on a 32 inch monitor for example. It's just that anything bigger would be uncomfortable for viewing up close. This means that you're not only getting a much bigger work surface with bigger screens and a 4K resolution, but the picture will be even sharper than it would be on a 24 inch full HD monitor. And in gaming it greatly reduces aliasing and lets you see smaller details better. Now, some people might say that 4K resolution is wasted on a monitor as small as 27 inches, but this is just plain wrong. 4K isn't just about size. You also get an amazing sense of depth on a 4K monitor, depth bordering on 3D, but without any of the annoying side effects. Just think about how many times you've left a 3D movie screening with a headache or feelings of nausea. And could you imagine having to wear 3D glasses when gaming? But with 4K, you get this. Just look at the scene from Witcher 3 in glorious 4K. The details are breathtaking and the world around you just looks so vast. It just looks mesmerizing. And even if your graphics settings aren't maxed on 4K, the game will still look better than if it were maxed out on a 1080p screen. Honestly, 4K resolution isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It's rather unlikely that display technology will improve significantly over the couple of years, so you won't have to worry that what's now a quality 4K gaming monitor will become obsolete and dirt cheap by next year. Sure, you may have heard that some companies are already rolling out 5K screens, but while this is true, these potentially higher resolutions will be aimed solely at professionals. We hardly have the hardware to support 4K gaming as it is. Which brings us to the disadvantage. Advantages. As of right now, the only graphics card capable of running AAA games in 4K are the GTX 1070 and the GTX 1080, as well as their TI variants. With the GTX 1070 Ti, you would be able to run most games at over 30 FPS while only the GTX 1080 Ti can land you 60 FPS in 4K, and you could get better frame rates by using SLI or Crossfire X, but unless you're pairing up a new 2K gaming card with the one you already own, this just isn't a cost-effective solution. And then there's the question of compatibility. Not all games or programs support 4K resolutions. This is especially true for older titles, which would have to be upscaled to properly display in 4K. And an upscaled 1080p image won't look nearly as good as a native 2160p one. Of course, we can't overlook the matter of price. We said that 4K monitors aren't as expensive as they used to be, and we weren't lying, but they're still pretty damn expensive, especially those suitable for gaming, where you don't just need a 4K resolution, but also a high refresh rate, low response time, and relevant technology like G-Sync or FreeSync. In short, you shouldn't expect to find a good 4K monitor under $500, unless you happen to catch one at a discount or have a way of getting it secondhand. 
So with all this in mind, is a 4K gaming monitor worth it? Definitely. They offer a graphical experience that you simply can't get in 1080p. The more important question is, should you get one? And it's also a way trickier question. Honestly, it depends. It's definitely better than buying a 2K monitor. They aren't really that much cheaper. If you're putting together a powerful gaming PC that can run games in 2K, then getting a 4K monitor is definitely a good option. 2K games will look just fine in 4K, and you can just bump the resolution up when you upgrade your GPU. But if you don't have a GPU that runs games in 2K or 4K and you don't see yourself getting one soon, then it's better to just stick with 1080p for now. Both GPUs and monitors will get cheaper over time, so it might be better to just wait and then upgrade your PC and monitor. So what do you think? Did we help you make a decision? We'd like to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.